Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. Today is September the 8th, 2021. And before we jump into things here, I wanted to talk about the links in my description. I do have a Patreon link with a variety of tiers, so please check that out. It really helps support the channel. I also have a TCG Player affiliate link, and any purchase that you make using that link, I get a small bonus from that. And I also have a 10% off discount code where you can build your own custom playmat using my Your Playmat affiliate link. Here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content on a daily basis, so thank you very much. Okay, let's get moving. Starting the list off here with Angus McKenzie from Legends. This beautiful gold frame rare reserve list card is down 13.51% from 462.49 to $400. Next up is Vesuva from Time Spiral. This is the original printing of this card, and it's down 9.46% from 1882 to 1704. Next up, we have Angel's Grace, another card from Time Spiral. This card is down 8.14% from 1290 to 1185. And we've got another reserveless card on our list. It is Divine Intervention from Legends. It is down 7.37% from 266.97 to 247.30. We've got another reserve list card following this one. It is Cabal Ghoul from Arabian Nights. This reserve list card is down 7.31% from 151.18 to 140.13. Next up is Hallowed Fountain from Secret Layer Series. It is down 7.30% from 13.69 to 12.69. And our last loser of the day is Terror of the Peaks from Core Set 2021. This dragon is down 5.86% from 28.34 to 26.68. Now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day. We are starting that list off here with Sacred Foundry from the Secret Layer series as well. This card is up 5.48% from 1879 to 1982. Now, the most recent printing of this card in a major set was from Guilds of Ravnica, and it's about 1931 on the market, so roughly around the same price point. Now, this card is seeing a lot of play in modern burn decks, but it also sees a bit of play in commander decks like Omnath, Locus of Creation, and even the Ur Dragon. Next card on our list is Hercules Recall from Antiquities. This Antiquities Rare is up 7.74% from 109.15 to 117.16. The cheapest version of this card is from 5th edition and you can get it for about 305 on the market currently. It is seeing play in vintage decks like Mono Blue, Paradoxal Outcome, and even Doomsday, but it also sees a bit of commander play as well. Next up is Grief from Modern Horizons 2. This Evoke Mythic is up 8.11% from 12.58. To 1360. The full art version of this card is $17, so around $450 more expensive than the regular version. It is seeing a lot of play in Living End and Modern and even Orzhov Stoneblade decks, but also sees a bit of commander play as well in Turgid God of Fright. Our next card on the list is Land's Edge, which is a Legends Rare. And yes, we are seeing a lot of Legends Rare buyouts recently, and we are still seeing them today. It is up 8.26% from 49.65 to 53.75. And our next card is a reserveless card. It is Island of Whack Whack from Arabian Nights. This card is up 9.64% from 371.65 to 407.49. This card did have its print run disclosed and there is only 20,700 copies printed from Arabian Nights. Our next card on the list is Archon of Cruelty, another Modern Horizons 2 Mythic. It's up 10.28% from 973 to $10.73. Now the showcase version of this card that uses the sketch artwork is about 947 on the market, so actually a dollar less expensive than the original version. Now, this card is seeing a lot of play in Reanimator and Legacy, and even white-black decks in Modern, but also sees a bit of Commander play as well. Our next card on the list today is a card from Arabian Nights. It is Gazban Ogre, and it is up 12.46% from 1011 to 1137. Now, because this card is from Arabian Nights, it did have its print run disclosed, and there is 124,000 copies printed from Arabian Nights. And we have Sinbad, another card from Arabian Nights. This card is up 12.92% from $62.14 to $70.17. Now this card also had its print run disclosed and there is 31,000 copies printed from this original set. 
Next up on the list is Master of the Wild Hunt from Masters 25, and this reprint is up 9.24% from 1076 to 1283. The cheaper version of this card came out in Magic 2010, and it's about 928 on the market, so about $3 less expensive than the reprint from Masters 25. It is seeing a lot of play in Erlwick decks and Tossimir in Commander, but also sees a bit of play in decks like Rhys the Redeemed. And our final card of the day is Concordant Crossroads from Legends. Yes, this is a Legends Rare, and lots of Legends Rares are still being bought up. This card is up 21.78% from 236.09 to 287.50. Now, it did have a cheaper reprint with the same artwork from Chronicles, and you can get that for about 51.96, so a much cheaper alternative if you want to throw it into a deck. Now, this card is seeing a lot of play in the Commander format in decks like Lathral Blade of the Elves, Silvala Heart of the Wilds, and even Sithis Harvest Hand, which is another card we got in Modern Horizons 2. Now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day. And we are starting that list off here with Akroma's Vengeance from Onslaught. This rare old frame foil is up 63.52% from $18.34 to $30. And our next foil mover on the list today is Crolophant from Odyssey, another rare old frame foil up 65.52% from 783 to 1296. And we have Marasa Pyromancer from Zendikar. It's up 74.78% from 226 to 395. Aeon Chronicler from Planner Chaos, and it's up 85.14% from 148. 2274. And our next foil and mover is Fog of Nats from Urza's Legacy. This old frame foil is up 92.01% from 1039 to 1995. And we have Inferno of the Star Mounts, and this promo is up 103.85% from $65 to $132.50. Next up is Despor Thalad from Time Spiral. It's up 121.85% from $270 to $6. And our next foil mover is Sick and Tired from Urza's Legacy, and it's up 135.71% from 126 to 297. And we have Drizzt Do Erden. This is the promo version of the card, up 200% from $100 to $300. A lot of fans of this card out there. Our last foil mover of the day is Ghoul Draz Vampire from Zendikar. It's up 286.71% from 173. $2.69. Thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering market movers. It really means a lot to me. And if you could, could you hit that like button so this video does get shared in YouTube's algorithm? As yes, I'm still trying to grow on this platform. Also, let me know the usual. What was your favorite mover? Which cards do you actually own? And which cards you're most surprised to see make it on the list today? I do read every single comment, so please leave it down there below. Yes, I'm still having issues with PayPal. I am locked out, so I cannot do any booster box breaks with packs to all you guys, so sorry about that. I'm going to call PayPal later today and see if I can work something out, see if I can get this thing fixed because it's causing me a lot of stress because all my affiliate links are also tied to PayPal, so just a lot of stress for me right now. Um, so please bear with me as I go through this. And uh, hopefully maybe find an alternative, but if not, hopefully I can find a way to work with PayPal because I've been using them for 10 years and it's kind of uh, very upsetting what's going on. Anyways, uh, I will see you guys tomorrow again for another Magic Gathering Market Movers. Until then, enjoy the rest of your day. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.